So we're standing in the garage at the moment, and as you can see, the walls and ceilings are insulated. So it's not a massive expense, but it's definitely something you should be looked at um, throughout like a, a new home or a major renovation, because um, it does does help with the cooling and cooling and heating, and as well as sound, like with the high ceilings and stuff like that, it definitely helps with the acoustics of each room. We place a lot of importance on, on the windows and doors on all of our builds. Um, there's a lot to choose from as far as types, uh, the glazing, the colours and, and so forth. Uh, as you can see, we're in the main living room of, of, the, um, of the house and this behind us here, that's the big stack of doors that we've kind of been talking about with the big steel beam over the top. So these ones slide out to, from, from the centre out to the sides. Either side of that, you've got louver windows for, for airflow as well as uh, electric motorised louvers up top. And over here, we've actually got louvers on the other side of the room so this, this will help with, like, with passive airflow as well as a, a fixed panel in the middle. So when, when the uh, bench seats here eventually, you've got an unobstructed view of the landscaping once it's all completed. Another type of uh, window that gets often used in kitchens is um, as opposed to like a glass splashback is like a fixed panel glass window. So that, that's, that's, that's that little design there. And over here, this is probably my favourite window of the whole house. This is actually a gas strutted window. This one's pretty much as big as you're going to get in, in this size and that will just open all the way up. It's just like a big door that's going to open up as, as an awning. And then over here, um, is a bifold door. So you can get these in uh, timber and aluminium. Uh, benefits of aluminium is you don't have to adjust them over time, whereas timber kind of swells and shrinks your fair bit of movement. And uh, yeah, that will kind of just open up out onto the outdoor kitchen area. Another aspect of, uh, of all new builds and major renovations is air conditioning. Uh, you can do your best with passive airflow with all your louvers and windows and stuff like that. But on those hot days, you really, really got to think about the, the aircon side of things. Um, smaller builds with, with uh, smaller areas, yeah, a split system will work. But with a larger home, it's more economical just to go for a big ducted system. In this case, we've got a rake ceiling separating the two wings of the house. So we've actually got two ducted systems. Uh, this one here is going to do all the bedrooms. And the one down here, that's actually going to do the office and the, and the uh, media room and, as such. As you can see up the top there, that's, we've put, put the, uh, the air vents up high, so the airflow will actually flow down into the main living room. And then down the hallway is actually the return air, so it's kind of tucked away so you can't see it. So yeah, this is another one to think about. So that's us for today. If you are looking to design and, and construct a new home or a major renovation, be sure to give us a call, because as you can see behind us, it does take a lot of time in the planning stages to get, a, get exactly what you want. So until then, stay safe.